Oh, good afternoon, everybody. Morning, I'm not even sure what time it is. Um, as you can see, been absolutely busting my hump off. We got everything that was over here, somewhat organized over here. Um, I still have not had time to go down to the old shop and get everything out of there yet. The guy that was supposed to help me ended up in the hospital, so yeah, it's just been one headache after another. Um, I've just got the body sitting on the back of this right now. I haven't bolted it back together. Um, we were using this for light in here because of how bright the headlight is and ended up draining the battery dead. Well, last video the other day is when the body was off the thing I had on the charger. And now it works. use it yet for anything except for pulling a dumpster I haven't used it for plowing yet but uh, that's gonna change um, my old landlord Wayne was just over here I got a scoop full of dirt brought up over here filling that hole from the back um, let's see what's all going on oh yeah you probably think I'm nuts come talking to myself um, this I had given to me out of a dumpster it actually works. You know, light actually lights up and changes it quick. And it does move. Charger was even with it, so just needs a bath. And that I have I still haven't found the charger for that. I know it's in the other garage, but that just needs a battery and unburied. That pole right there is actually gonna go up on the roof of the garage here for my base station CB because I am putting a CB in that truck this car um, this one a couple months ago well, it has been an ongoing thing now with this car or with the person that owns this car anyways she bought a car from a dealership and told it was a good car new motor blah 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 she drove it for three weeks and the motor blew up I mean literally fireball so the dealership came and got it and they kept screwing her around for two and a half months about getting her another vehicle or fixing the other one. Well, finally I got in the loaner car she was driving. We went down to Mason City and I walked in and said, hey, I'm a certified mechanic, but this needs to get taken care of and it needs to get taken care of now. Well, needless to say, within an hour we drove this thing home. And it's not without its problems. I mean, it does look pretty good. It's got some dents and dings in it. It had completely bald tires on it. And I had a little bit of extra money. I was like, okay, we gotta go right past the junkyard to get home. We're stopping and getting tires. So I got her two, and she still needs more. A couple of the other two tires, but they had tread on them a little bit. Um, that old girl right there is sold. Gone, history, going, oh, going bye-bye. Friend Lisa's buying it. We watch your daughter every morning for school, so. Uh, let's see what else. Let's see, I got the subs sold. All the other lawnmowers are gone. Except for the ones I'm keeping or that I already have sold to somebody else. Um, oh, yeah, anyways, with this car, um, besides the tire problems, the uh, bolts for the control arms will not tighten up. So they're clunking and rubbing and they're about to snap. So, we're supposed to be getting money, between me and her, we're supposed to be getting enough money to fix it, hopefully this weekend, so it'll be in here Wednesday-ish, and I'm going to fix this mirror, because she did a whoops and busted it, I got another one already on order, we're going to, I'm probably going to have to cut the bolts out for the control arms for this thing, yeah, just curious, I'm going to turn this thing sideways, see what it does on YouTube when I get started. But anyways, I'm probably going to have to cut the bolts out and uh, put all new bolts in it. And she's got two kids who are autistic, so this car's got to be right. So, and I'm evidently the only one she trusts to really do much to it. So, which makes me feel good. I've got actually many people 
anymore who I am the only one they trust to work on their vehicles because A, I can get it done cheaper than anybody else, and B, my number one policy. If I'm not willing to put my kids in it, it don't leave. Now, that's what it really has to. With her, she lives an hour away, so she's it's not like she can stay here for days on end. Um, she has borrowed my truck, and when I stole in the van, she did borrow that to get back and forth while I worked on her vehicles. So, not a big ordeal. Um, I do not have heat out here yet. Um, my white heater over here, uh, that's the actual name of it, it's white. Uh, there we go. Um, the blower motor seized up on it. And to me, it looks like about the same shape and size and everything as a heater out of that truck. Well, I'm going to tear that heater apart and put a new blower motor in it. And I was like, oh, if I got to drill a couple new holes to actually bolt it in, then I got to drill a couple new holes. <laughs> Not a big deal. And the reason there's a bowl of food sitting on the floor, there are two dogs that the police department has been chasing for three days. Um, they were literally dropped off in a bag. Somebody got the bag open and the dogs bolted. Uh, sad ordeal, but uh, the police department's been trying to catch them for two days now and they've been running around the neighborhood all around here and we've had them in the garage twice now But they're so skittish that I have not ha even been able to get the garage door down to trap them in here And so we put a bowl of food out so maybe we can get them in here get three or four people lined up across the garage and trap them long enough to get the garage door down um right now it is hooked up to the garage door opener but it's not like i can't pull the pin and quick drop it so we're trying um the police chief is actually going to uh foster them and try and get them back into health and sociable so we're just kind of helping out the police department not a big ordeal. Um, like I said, they're talking one to three inches of snow. But uh, so starting Sunday night. So whether this thing's got that uh, cover on here or not, it's probably going to be put back together and used. Um, with the sale of the van, I am at least going to go get my work permit. So... Um, for the people who watch my videos regularly, um, will know that, was it May or June, I got in trouble for riding that in town because I don't have a license. And there was talks of jail time and probation, house arrest. Well, got a hold of my lawyer today, and because of my medical history, my medical problems with my leg and everything, I got off pretty lucky. Um, two years probation, but if I screw up probation, it's two years state pen. So I'm not screwing up probation. And I already know my probation officer, same one I had like three, four years ago. I'm a really nice guy. Basically with me, he don't care as long as I'm not in a bar, unless it's for a bait functions. Um, for those of you who don't know or have never heard of ABATE, it stands for A Brotherhood Aimed Towards Education. And it is a motorcycle organization. I've belonged to them for 17, 18 years now. And a lot of our meetings are at bars. You know, biker life. So unless I'm at a bar for that, I cannot be in a bar. And as far as my gun collection and everything, he doesn't care. I have no, the only thing on my criminal record is driving charges, which I'll admit to, you know, that's stupid. So, but, uh, yeah, just, there's so much been going on with Kelly coming home and the moving and unpacking and the weather changes, it's just, just huh. <laughs> if I still drink <laughs> a lot, I'd probably be drinking right now. But I don't hardly drink anymore, so I don't have to worry about it. I drink maybe three or four times a year, if that. Um, let's see, what else? I think that's really about it right now. Um, Bronco is coming home 
Yeah, it might be spring, but uh, we're going to try and get it home before too much snow flies. And that's going to be sitting right in here. Uh, we're going to nose it in because all the lights are over here. That way uh, I can get her up and running. And, yeah, I'll let you guys hear that big block fire up because I know ever since I've been doing videos, uh, that thing's never fired. Um, God, it's been six years since the thing started. Um, it does get turned over regularly, keep the oil pressure up, and, you know, things moving. Uh, its problem is the distributor is screwed. Uh, distributor's the original one to the motor, which is 1977. Yep, 77. I have the HEI distributor conversion kit and a brand new billet distributor to go in there. I've had it for years, just never got around to putting it in. Because I've never had a place inside to work on it. So, yeah, I know the video is kind of getting long. I'm kind of rambling. There's been so much going on. I uh, just want to also say thank you to all my subscribers. Um, I know I don't have as many as nearly half the people in the YouTube Garage Gang. I think I've got about 146 last time I looked. So, that actually makes me feel pretty good because I'm just, you know, one man show doing what I can. Um, I know lately there hasn't been a whole lot of car videos that will be changing now that I have this absolute monster garage. And it'll be even more so once I can get everything unpacked. So, but uh, I'll let you guys go and we'll catch you guys all later. How the heck do you turn this thing off? Yes, I'm still playing with the new phone. <laughs>